Hello, good evening. Welcome back with me, Adrian, with some Indonesian junior high school students in daily Bible reading. As usual, every evening, we will read the New English Translation Bible from the New Testament in the book of Matthew. Last time, Jesus told us to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and to give to God what belongs to God. We have obligation to obey the rules from the government. As student, you have obligation to obey the rule in your school. As employee, you have obligation to obey the rule from your employer. We are God's people, so we have obligation to obey our King. Tonight, we shall continue our Bible reading, so please prepare your Bible in Matthew chapter 22, verse 31. But before that, Let's pray. Father, thank you for tonight. Thank you for giving us another chance to read your Bible tonight. God, give us your Holy Spirit to open our eyes, our minds, our ears, and our hearts so we are able to know the truth from the Bible that we are going to read. So speak to us, Lord, for we are ready to listen to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. So, are you ready to read your Bible? Let's get started. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 22, verse 31 to 35. But as touching as the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at the doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him and saying, Thank you. Hello. Today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 to 40. Teacher, which commandment in the law is the greatest? Jesus said to him, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is, like it, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. Amen. So today I want to read Bible to Matthew chapter 22 verses 41 to 46. While the Pharisees were assembled, Jesus asked them a question. What do you think about the Christ? Whose son is he? They said, The son of David. He said to them, How then does David by the Spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. If David then calls him Lord, how can he be his son? The one was about to answer him a word, and from that day, on the one there to question him any longer. Amen. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 23, verse 1 to 5. Seven wolves. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the experts in the law, and the Pharisees said on Moses' seat. Therefore, pay attention to what they tell you and do it. But do, but do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy loads, hurry hard to carry, and put them on men's shoulders. But they themselves are not willing even to leave a word to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by people, for they make their flatteries white and their tassels. Long. Hello, today I want to read Bible from Matthew chapter 23, verse 6 to 7. They love, they love 
of the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues and elaborate greetings in the marketplace and to have people call them rabbi but you are not to be called rabbi for you have one teacher and you are all brothers and call not no one your father on earth for you have one father who is in heaven not, not are you to be called teacher for you have one teacher the christ Hello, today I want to read the Bible from Matthew chapter 23 verses 11 to 15. The greatest among you will be servant, and whoever exalts himself will be humbled, and whoever humbles himself will be accepted. But who do you, experts in the law, and you, Paris, high priests, you keep locking people out of the kingdom of heaven? For you neither enter nor permit those trying to enter to go in. Who do you, experts in the law and you furries, hypocrites, you across land and sea to make one comfort? And when you get one, you make him twice as much a child of hell as yourself. Amen. Hello, this is Mr. Bible from India, chapter 23, verse 16 to 20. Who do you, Glenn Douglas, who say whoever serves by temple is born by nothing, but whoever serves by the gold of the temple is born by the old. Blind fools, you see whether the gold or the temple that makes the gold sacred, and whoever serves by the altar is born by nothing, but if anyone serves by the gift on it, he is born by the old. You are blind, for which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred. So whoever serves by the altar serves by it and by everything on it. Amen. Tonight we read about how Jesus cursed the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. Jesus taught the people to pay attention to what the Pharisees and the teachers of the law taught them and did it. But Jesus forbid them to do what they did because the Pharisees and the teachers of the law didn't do what they taught. On the other hand, we read the Bible every day not only to know about God and His words but also to obey Him every day. Obeying God is what makes a difference between his children and the Pharisees and the teachers of the law. So I guess that's it for tonight. I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful evening. Jesus bless you and bye-bye.